Hey, Psych2Goers. Has anyone ever told you that they find you intimidating or difficult to approach? Or have you ever wondered what kind of first impression you have on people? Thanks to the Myers-Briggs Personality Type Indicator, or MBTI, one of the most popular and widely used personality tests in the world. You can have a better idea not only about who you are, but also about who other people perceive you to be. Here is why people might be intimidated by you, according to your personality type. Number one, ISFJ, the defender. Known for being friendly, generous, supportive, patient, and reliable, some people may feel intimidated by an ISFJ's uncommonly kind nature and wonder, why are they being so nice to me? What's in it for them? Well, the answer is nothing really. ISFJs just love helping people for the sake of helping them. ISFJs are open, nurturing, and gentle people with no ulterior motive in sight. Number two, ESFJ, the caregiver. Also called the console, ESFJs might be intimidating to other people because of how effortlessly likable and popular they tend to be. Social butterflies who everyone wants to be friends with. They're charming, friendly, and confident. They make life look so easy and fun that it's hard not to envy them, but even harder not to love them because of how bubbly, loyal, and lovable they are. Number three, ISTJ, the logistician. If ESFJs are the vibrant and outgoing life of the party, ISTJs are the complete opposite. They are reserved, dutiful, rational, and steadfast. If you're an ISTJ, people are most likely too intimidated to approach you because of how matter-of-fact you tend to be. You might also seem a bit harsh and cold-hearted because of your tendency to value truth and logic more than emotional needs of others. But hey, there's nothing wrong with being a pragmatist. Number four, ESTJ, the executive. One of the most intimidating personality types out there. High achieving perfectionists, ESTJs aren't always the most approachable of people because of how strictly they uphold the rules, impose order, and expect everyone else to do the same. They believe in tradition, organization, and authority, which is why they have the tendency to come off as a bit bossy and controlling at times. Number five. ISFP, the adventurer. Creative and free-spirited, ISFJs can be intimidating because of their constant need to reinvent themselves. It's hard to really get to know an ISFP because who they are is constantly changing. Spontaneous and adventurous, ISFPs love to experiment, which can be intimidating for those of us who like to play it safe and stay in our comfort zones. They love to push the boundaries when it comes to social conventions because they value passionate, artistic self-expression. Number six, ESFP, the entertainer. One of the most outgoing and lively people you will ever meet. ESFPs just ooze confidence and charisma. They are irresistibly bold, vibrant, and original. ESFPs also revel in being in the spotlight. And the spotlight loves them too armed with excellent people skills and a talkative demeanor. ESFPs can seem a little intimidating to those of us who aren't as confident in social interactions and prefer to listen more than we speak. Number seven, ISTP, the virtuoso. Known for their fiercely independent and results-oriented attitude, ISTPs aren't usually intimidating. In fact, they're often very fun-loving, energetic, and easygoing. But, in times of serious need and dire situations, when everyone else has already started panicking, you can expect them to stay calm and on top of everything. Decisive, determined, and always in control. ISTPs love thinking on their feet and leaping before they look because they're fearless and thrill-seeking individuals. So befriending an ISTP is definitely not for the faint of heart. Number eight, ESTP, the entrepreneur. One of the most perceptive of all the personality types. ESTPs have an uncanny knack for reading people, which can be a bit unsettling for those who prefer to stay closed off and guarded about their feelings. Mysterious and observant, ESTPs could easily become master manipulators if they wanted to. Luckily for us though, they have no interest in playing mind games. They prefer to be open, honest, and direct. There's never any beating around the bush with an ESTP. Number nine, INFJ. The advocate. 
INFJs work tirelessly to save the world and make it a better place for everyone. Kind, compassionate, and altruistic, INFJs are peace-loving diplomats with a lot of emotional depth. And this introspective, still waters run deep kind of nature can be intimidating for some, especially because INFJs are very hard to get to know. They value their privacy a lot and tend to seem a bit distant and guarded, even with their closest friends and family. Number 10, ENFJ, the protagonist. Next, we have the ENFJ, who most people tend to find intimidating for the opposite reason as INFJs. ENFJs are so authentic and genuine that it kind of catches a lot of us off guard. Big hearted and empathetic, they live to inspire others and love taking on the role of mentor, supporting their loved ones and providing boundless encouragement. On bad days though, they can come off as a bit condescending and patronizing. Number 11, INFP, the mediator. Although they're often seen as thoughtful, innocent, soft-hearted idealists, INFPs have a dark side too. They can be incredibly rigid in their unrealistically high expectations of both themselves and their loved ones. So if you ever go against their beliefs or fail to live up to their idealized version of you, they will most likely begin to distance themselves from you or hold a grudge against you for not being the person they thought you were. Number 12, ENFP, the campaigner. If ESTJs intimidate people with how rule-abiding and traditional they are, ENFPs intimidate people with how unconventional and non-traditional they like to be. Fun, spontaneous, and highly creative, ENFPs love to challenge the usual way of doing things and going against societal norms. They permanently live outside of the box because they think life's too short to be boring. Number 13, INTP, the logician. An objective and straightforward critical thinker, some people might find INTPs to be intimidating because of their blunt, always questioning attitude. INTPs love to learn and they seek to know all that is knowable. Hence, they love researching, theorizing, and having intellectual discussions with like-minded people. Number 14, ENTP, the debater. Quick-witted and sharp-tongued, no one loves a good debate more than an ENTP. And for some people, that can be a bit off-putting. To always have everything you say and think challenged, but ENTPs don't mean any harm by it. They just love attacking and defending ideas at every angle, taking them apart only to put them back together again. Number 15, INTJ, the architect. Rational, independent, and self-possessed. INTJs are often viewed as intimidating for the very same reasons they're admired. That is, they always have a good idea of what they want, how to achieve, and stick to it no matter what. But this decisiveness, competence, and strong sense of efficacy can easily be mistaken as arrogance too. And finally, 16, ENTJ, the commander. Last but certainly not least, we have the ENTJ, or the commander. As you might have already guessed, most people find them intimidating because of their incredibly focused, driven, and goal-oriented attitudes. Bold, brazen, and confident. ENTPs are natural-born leaders who have no problem taking charge and calling the shots. So, did you relate to any of the things we've mentioned here? What was your personality type and why do you think people might be intimidated by you? Did you find this video insightful? Tell us in the comments below. Please like and share it with friends that might find use in this video too. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.